it's okay as long as you can get that discipline back and be consistent again. What's up team? Welcome back to Training with T-Banks Vlogs. So I want to kind of show you one of the gyms that I train out of, you know, because you guys seen several of the videos, so I might as well kind of do a little quick little tour. Um, we've got some machines over here for cardio, um, and we have a few, just a few like, uh, you know, machines for the resistance training, but I don't really use these at all because I'm all about functional fitness and using your body and using moving the implement and not sitting in the implement and using it so I don't really hang out over here honestly but um they're here and we have a couple squat areas and physio balls for some stability work and then we have pulse balls as well dumbbell station of course and we have several of these I don't know if you guys have ever known or ever seen these used, but they're PVC pipes for like stretching. There are several, several of these around the gym as well for like stretching and various exercises. Um, some med balls, Dynamix balls over there, uh, as well for some functional training. And then we have blast straps or suspension straps, um, just like the TRX, just a different brand. Um, more machines, more cable stuff. Um, let's see here, what else do we have? Uh, what else do we have? Several plates for the machines, but you can also use plates for exercises to do just without the machine. So that as well. And this is my favorite area. We got some turf for this doing sleds and, and doing some high intensity work with the sleds that are down there. So this turf is awesome. I use it all the time. Um, tires, we got a couple of tires, boxes, ropes, kettlebells down in there if you can see them. And what else do we have? Bands, of course, several band options uh, that, are, that are definitely very useful. And of course, foam rolling, right? It's important to do your MFR, right? Your myofascial release work for your tight muscles. Not just stretching, but really cranking out those muscles with a foam roller. So hopefully you guys are using your foam rollers um, or your trigger point balls to help crank out some of that, um, some of that tightness. Um, what else do we have? That's, that's kind of the main stuff that we have, you guys. So um, if you're in Chicago, come check out this gym. It's you know called the Space in Hyde Park. Um, I'm not just here. I'm, I'm in different locations around the city as well. So of course, if you want to come train with me or set up a group boot camp, all that kind of stuff, we can definitely set that up as well. So come hit me up if you're in Chicago. We'll definitely start training and getting in your fitness. All right, so without further ado, let's get into the workout. Ready, set, go. All right, you guys. So today we just have three exercises for this circuit. This first one is gonna be the crane, all right? So we're gonna work on our shoulders, putting in the work in an isometric position. We're holding, you're lowering the front of those shoulders, your hips are high, you're balancing your body with your hands. Keep your hips high, engage your core to hold this position the whole time. You're gonna feel it, shoulders, triceps as well. Work hard for me. I need to hold that one that long, it's a struggle for me. So if you guys to push for maybe you know, 20 seconds, 30 seconds, 45 seconds on that one, let me know. up on the bar for this next exercise. So we're not doing a pull-up, we're doing focusing really just on the negative phase of the pull. So we're only working on that down phase like I was just going slow, you saw that? Take the time, go super slow as you can, as slow as you can on the way down, and you are gonna feel that, I guarantee you, more than you would a regular pull-up. We're going down slow, I'm keeping my body long, I'm engaging my core, as I always say, we gotta make sure we're stable in all the other joints while the, the joint of focus is moving. So the joint of focus is that, that shoulder joint, right? That shoulder scap complex that we're moving along. Everything else has to stay tight and braced. If you're moving anywhere else, like the neck, the lower back, you know, you're swinging a lot, then that means we're losing some body control, guys. So we got to get you guys uh, working on that core a little bit better. 
you can go to my core video if you want to learn some core exercises to help you guys get stronger with that. Now when I'm doing this, I'm going super slow and I am jumping up to the next pull up, right? I'm not doing pull up the whole time. I'm jumping up because it's already hard enough doing this negative. So get a box, jump up, get up high on that bar, hold it for as long as you can, and then go as slow as you can for this one. Boom, nice. The last exercise is gonna be our isometric push-up hold. We're not repping it out, we're just holding it. Again, staying tight everywhere. I want your heels together, your thighs together squeezing, and your glutes squeezing. Guarantee you it'll be a harder push-up that way. If you wanna get fancy, lean forward, make it harder. Work it out, work it out. that because I just really want this channel and the information I put out and all to be like like honest about you know honest 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 content okay like I am not perfect with the diet I'm not sometimes I miss a workout to be honest but um when I get it in I get it in and I'm focused um but that's not to say that I'm making an excuse or anything but it, it is important for for your coaches and your trainers and people that are motivating you to be transparent about struggles that they have in their life too. Okay, so yeah, I didn't have a pack of cookies, but the good thing is, is I the next you know the next day I went back and made up for that by eating um, all like wholesome like foods and all like um, it was all like it was a health conscious day. The next day for me with eating and drinking a lot of water, and I just I made up for that and, and also in my workout. So even though you may get off you know, the wagon every once in a while and and you may make a mistake, it's okay as long as you can get that discipline back and be consistent again. So I just kind of think of it this way, you know, life is like hills and valleys, right? Hills and valleys. It's never going to be like you're always moving up, 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 doing well, well, well. Like you're always going to have something that hinders you or you make a mistake um, or you miss a workout, like, it's fine. I'm here to motivate you, and I'm here to um, be a good influence, I guess, but um, as much as I'm, I'm hammering in on, on all that, it's important to recognize that it's okay to not be perfect. And I'm working on that myself, so don't feel like, oh man, it's, man, I didn't, I didn't get in this workout, or I didn't get in this, this meal, this, this wholesome meal that I was supposed to eat for lunch, instead I bought some pizza, like, it happens. Just get back consistent, get, get that discipline back, and move on with your day, and just kill it for the rest of the day. You guys got this, I believe in you, all right? Now, if you haven't seen my last video, you gotta get to that, right? It's gonna be over, it's, it's gonna be over here, actually. It's gonna be over here, all right? So go ahead and click in that space over there. If you haven't seen my last video, check that out. And I will see you guys next week. Peace.